Hey guys, so a couple of months ago I was emailed by somebody from banggood.com, wondered if I wanted to check out some of their woodworking tools. So full disclosure, everything you're seeing in this video was provided to me at no cost to myself. That said, they don't have any editorial control over my video. In fact, they didn't even ask to see the video before I produced it. They just cared that I did. Um, and, you know, speaking of which, um, I'm calling this intentionally a first impressions video. Uh, it's not a review. I have not had months and months with these tools, but most of them are like measuring tools. So there's that'll first impressions are probably fine. So I'm sure a lot of you, especially if you live in North America, are wondering about shipping speed. And you know, I was wondering that also, um, but all I can really tell you is that it varies. They've got lots of warehouses in different geographic locations, so it depends on where the item is. Now, for example, in, in this particular case, uh, we had the order finalized on the 27th of December, and already on the 31st, I had a package at my door, and I was really impressed. Um, that was really good. And then I waited, and then I waited, and then I waited, and then it was January 8th that the second package showed up, and I'm still waiting for one last item in the order, and it is today, the 24th of January, and I just needed to get ahead with the video, so I'm proceeding. Now, it should arrive in the next day or two, and if it does, hopefully I can, I can still get it edited into the video before it's released. So that's a huge date range, you know, anywhere from a few days to like a month, six weeks, something like that. So if you need something next day, yeah, you're, you're probably going to be disappointed. Okay, so here we go. And of course, I'm going to have links to all of these down in the video description if you want to find out any more details about this. And I know everybody's going to want to know the prices, so I'm going to mention the prices. Just bear in mind that this is late January 2021 and, you know, things fluctuate and change. And I'm just rounding to the nearest dollar. Now mostly what I got are various measuring tools, so let me get this one out of the way first. This is one of those new ratcheting F-style clamps where you just sort of squeeze it in and it's got a little ratchet there, release the trigger. This is the 200 millimeter size or about 8 inches. This is $21 US, $27 Canadian. You know, you just press it and clamp it. This has a capacity of about 8 inches here and it's three and a half inches that way. So just for fun, I got the, the old bathroom scale and I'm going to just squeeze it and and I'm at 100 pounds, a little over 100 pounds, 45 kilograms. Now in terms of quick style clamps, I have these a bunch of these quick grips which the, uh, you hold your hand under the shaft, whereas here you're clamping you're clamping this way, so it's just something different to get used to. You know. And like I said, these are uh, first impressions, so a clamp you almost, you need to spend a lot of time with to really form an impression. It seems to work. Um, I'm realizing my the problem is is that I I should have asked for like a set of four, as you know I only have one, so I'm not really sure how often I'm going to use it. I think I asked for two, but regardless, I've only got one. Looks interesting. There you go. Next, I got an aluminum square and an aluminum triangle. Interestingly, the triangle is really nicely packaged in foam, well protected. I don't remember that this came in anything other than maybe a bit of bubble wrap. It's This was the uh, December 31st purchase, so I don't really remember anymore what I did with all the packaging. Let's go over to the table saw. I'm going to want to check how flat and straight they are, which is why I'm over here now at the table saw. But before we get into that, this little clamping square is uh, 13 bucks US or $17 Canadian. The, the triangle is 26 bucks US or 34 Canadian. They call this on their website, they call it a height ruler for some reason. But really, considering that this is a Chinese company, I have to say that the English on the website has been you know, really, really well done from what I've seen. Both of these have metric on one side and imperial on the other. Metric on this side, imperial on the other. So yeah, the metric thing. Obviously, a lot of the stuff on the Banggood website is going to be in metric because they're outside of North America and outside of North America, everybody else is using metric. 
That said, you can find measuring tools that have imperial, but often they will be like this, where it's both. It's going to be metric on one side, imperial on the other. They have a few tools that are imperial only, and that's one of the ones, that's the one that I'm still waiting on. But yeah, just when you're on the website, just make sure, because sometimes they'll have the same tool, metric only, and then one that's got metric imperial. So just be aware of what you're ordering or what you're looking at. There is a smaller version of this triangle, which is less than half the price. This one is five and a half inches on a side. The smaller one is two and a half inches. So let's check the accuracy. So I've got my table saw here, which is dead flat, and I have my angle gauge, which I'm gonna turn on, and I'm going to zero out. Now this is aluminum, so I can't clamp it on, but I can turn it and put it here, and I'm at 89.9. 90, it's just sort of fluctuating. I think that seems to be a perfect 90, at least as far as I'm concerned. Now here's the triangle part, 44.9, 45. I have to hold it with my hands because it's not magnetic. So, I mean, that's partly why it's not staying still. But yeah, that's practically a perfect 45. Very good. Actually, while we're at it, let's do this one. Again, still at zero here. Yep. And then up here I have, hold still, yep, 90 degrees. Good. And I also got out my Veritas straight edge from Lee Valley and I don't know how well I can see that on camera, but to me, this is perfectly flat. I don't see, I'm not seeing any light or anything getting a nice, perfectly fat. So, well machined. Oh yeah, and let's break out the rulers. So I pulled a ruler out of an old combination square and you know, these middle-aged dies are saying that these markings are bang on accurate and on the square, oops, on the square also. I'm getting that nicely lined up. You know, and then take out your basic tape measure, and yeah, the markings are lining up. So, I think the measurements are at. Oh, let's check the metric before I forget. Oh, I happen to have a metric ruler here, and yeah, that's looking good. That's looking good, and. Let's actually try the metric side, and. That's looking good also. So both are accurate. Uh, my plan was to have one of these on the table saw for things like checking blade height. It's, it's nice how they will just, you can, they have a nice wide base that they'll stand up, but I just haven't decided which yet. And the other one, you know, it's just gonna be used for general measuring and marking. Oh, this would actually also be good for just clamping the corner blocks too. We shall see. So keeping with the measuring and marking theme, the fourth thing I've got is just your basic six inch ruler. There's nothing fancy here. It's, uh, you know, seven bucks American or nine bucks Canadian. It was just something I saw and I thought it would be neat. As you, I often wear a canvas apron in the shop and I just wanted to try carrying a pocket ruler. It's just something I've seen other people do. And there's not much to say. It's a pocket ruler. It is also metric, metric imperial. So it's only going to be imperial on one side, but I don't know. I mean, I keep pencils in the pocket and they don't break, so I would think that the ruler will be okay there too. We'll see. So here's another square. This is what they call a precision clamping square. I didn't actually ask for this. They just sort of tossed it into the order as, a, as an extra and said, here, take a look at this also. In many ways, it's practically identical to the square that I did ask for. It's got metric on one side and imperial on the other. The difference here is that it's got all these holes. You know, the, the idea is that you put these little things in there and then you can use it for a clamping block. I, I've never used things like this before. I tried it out the other week when I was, you know, building some organizer for a drawer and I, I was using it to help clamp. It works, uh, to be honest, I would, you know, this is much cheaper than this one. 
This was 20 bucks American, 26 Canadian. This one, I've lost my page, where was it? This was 13 bucks American or 17 bucks Canadian. I'd probably just buy this one and just use spring clamps, but that's an option. All right, Canada Post came through before the video was uploaded, so here I'm shooting this late edition and we can actually talk about the last item, which is great because I was really looking forward to this one. And yes, you did hear me say Canada Post. I'm not sure about in the United States, but all of my packages here were delivered by Canada Post, which is nice because there was an actual tracking number, so you can see where things are going. So This is the Drill Pro TS6. This is about $36 US or $47 Canadian. It's also available as a 3-inch model, the TS3, which costs less, and an 8-inch model, which, again, costs more. This is one of those T-squares that locks over a piece of wood and has the holes in it, and I've been really curious to try one of these because normally I might you know, take a combination square and I might say, okay, 3 inches, and I'll lock it down, and then I'll uh, grab your pencil and we'll just sort of go sliding along, do something like that. The idea with these is you would put it in here and put your pencil in in the hole and do that. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really curious to see how this affects my woodworking. Um, now, let's check it. I've already checked this square, so yeah, this is... The square is nicely lined up there, so I believe this is a good 90 degree. Let's see, let's see, I don't think we can see this here. There's just a slight relief here along the back, which I think is good in case there's a, a burr or something along the wood to make sure we're getting a nice snug joint. It is tapers down really nicely here on the edge. And just like I did with the other one, let me, let me check my measurements. These are nicely lining up. The markings are well done. These are real easy to read, nice and white. They are, there's a lot of them. These markings are 30 seconds, which actually makes sense because the whole markings are 30 seconds increments also. This appears to be milled out of one solid piece of aluminum. There's no seam here. So one other thing I was curious about is the pencil holes. Now here, this pencil, I sharpened it really well and it does go through the hole nicely. Now here's just a pencil I just grabbed. It's not particularly sharp. It's not particularly dull. Let's see, I'm going to pick the one inch hole. <laughs> no, that's not working. That's not working. Yeah, you'll, e you'll either need a mechanical pencil or you just have to make sure your wooden pencil is well sharpened. These are tiny little holes. So as I mentioned, this is the six inch one, which actually goes to six and a quarter. This is imperial on both sides, which is nice. It tapers down here at the edges, which is nice. You don't have very much parallax, a very, very accurate marking you can do. Um, for my non-North American watchers, you can get items like this that are imperial. I've seen some that are like 75 millimeters, and I've seen some where they're 100 and 120. There's a couple of different kinds. I'll put links to two or three of them down in the description. You can go look for yourself to see if that's something you'd be interested in. And yeah, link to this is down below also. Okay guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for stopping by, but don't go just yet. If you're from Canada or the US, I'd be really curious to hear what, if any, experiences you have with Banggood. Let's put them down in the description so we can all share and learn. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience with the company, but when I was on the website, you know, you go looking through the um, video, well, video. When I was on the website, you went looking through the uh, reviews, obviously. You check the reviews, and I'm finding people from like South Africa and Eastern Europe, and I wasn't really seeing too many comments from North America. So. I'm just curious if you guys just let's share your share your experiences down below and uh, I think that's it for now and we'll see you on the next one.